Welcome back to Make It Mental, everybody. So yesterday on the news, earlier in the day, there's a Colorado shooting. And before that, there's another shooting with a white man with some Asian women, evidently. And then everything is race-based, which I'm absolutely sick of. Absolutely sick of. Even though that white guy, the crazy white guy, had had a, some sort of sexual obsession with these Asian women, and, and something went wrong there. All right, so he he lost his load literally. Then you go to the Colorado shooting, just yesterday, and it it's not race based. And why is that? Oh, because his uh, name is Mohammed Al Smack Daddy Talahaslizi Gahaba. So it's not race-based. If you're a Muslim extremist, it's no longer race-based. Black-on-black crime is higher in murder rate than any other type of crime in the United States. But it doesn't fit the Democrats' narrative, nor is it displayed on your local TV set. Now we got this so-called assault weapons ban. There's a couple of bills they want to pass through because of these two shootings. And all this does is create a shopping list. This is a federal registry. This creates a shopping list for the bad guys. You are inviting bad guys to come in, kick it in your door, and go shopping for whatever goods you might have at your house. Now, you think it's it's sold to you in the name of safety. We'll be safer. All right, but this this... When you register all your weapons, your guns, your ammo, whatever the case may be, you have to tell the federal government where it's located, how many rounds you have, how many weapons you have, what types of weapons you have, etc., etc. Right? And this becomes a PDF searchable file online. So maybe you're a bad guy and you want to go uh, acquire a weapon. So you go to the National Registry. You can go searching for somebody in your area. Maybe it's a 123 West Boulevard in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, well, I know that guy. He's right out in the street right there. He's got seven AKs. I'm going to go kick in this door and steal some shit. That's all that does. That's inviting terrorism into your house. But it's sold to you in the name of safety. So can anybody out there tell me that passing a law prevents murder? It doesn't. Because if you don't have a good moral, ethical compass to guide you into doing the right thing, then it doesn't matter what law is passed. Right? There are laws for the speed limit. 55, 65, 75, whatever the case may be. Right? If you have a good moral compass, you're going to follow the law. Do you think that if if I feel like driving 120 miles an hour in a 25 mile an hour zone, I'm breaking the law. Right? I run, to further give you an example, I've run red lights in a semi truck, in an automobile, and on my mountain bike. All three of them are breaking the law. It's against the law to run a red light. But I had to make an executive decision, a quick decision on what was safer to do an emergency stop, which definitely wouldn't have been capable of at those three moments in time. I just had to make a very quick decision what was safer for me. And for when I was in a semi truck, what was safer for other people? So laws do not prevent murder. Period. There is no law out there that will prevent murder. Isn't it against the law to kill somebody with a stone? Against the law to kill somebody with a brick? How about a screwdriver? An ice pick? A knife? A chainsaw? How about a suicide vest? How about a vehicle borne explosives device? Aren't all those things against the law to kill somebody with? I think they are. But what stops them from doing it? Nothing stops a bad guy from doing bad things. All these laws do are prevent good people like me, my wife, and possibly somebody watching this video from being able to defend themselves against, for example, three thugs that enter your house. My wife is 98 pounds soaking wet. Guess what? I leave her in AR-15. She's not going to be able to physically fight off three thugs. I know she couldn't fight me off if I want to do. Inflict harm upon her. She couldn't do it. 
She may have the attitude like she can, but I leave her the AR-15 for when I'm at work. It levels the playing field. I bought my AR-15 because I like precision shooting, and I hate having to reload. I used to have a bolt action. I got rid of that motherfucker. But I like to do 100-yard groupings. My target goal is to get three bullets within the size of a quarter at 100 yards, and I've done it from time to time. It's a very rewarding experience. I love it. But with these ammo shortages, I haven't been able to do that lately. And to think that this stupid-ass gun law is going to somehow save your life in the name of safety is absolutely retarded. It's moronic. Hope you all have a good day.